Hello and welcome back to another video on the Autodot YouTube channel. My name is George and today we're going to learn about the key differences between petrol and diesel engines. Now before we get into the video make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all of the latest videos. Now let's get into things. So before we get into things let's see what we are working with. So we have a petrol engine here this is a V12 6 litre naturally aspirated petrol engine and then over here we have for the diesel engine we have a two litre four cylinder turbocharged diesel engine now let's get into the differences between the two so the first major difference between a petrol engine and a diesel engine is the compression ratios so typically on a diesel engines you can expect a compression ratio between 18 to 1 and 23 to 1 they run a much higher compression than your average petrol engine on your average petrol engine you can expect the compression ratio to be anywhere between 10 to 1 and 14 to 1 so massive difference right there the next major difference between diesel and petrol engines is the ignition system so on a petrol you have spark plugs and they ignite the fuel that is injected into the cylinders however on a diesel you do not have spark plugs now you do have glow plugs but these are not for ignition diesel engines however rely heavily on high compression to ignite the fuel there is no external source when it comes to igniting the fuel they just need that high compression and then the fuel will simply ignite the next major difference between a diesel engine and a petrol engine is the air fuel ratio now on a diesel engine you do not have a throttle body like you would on a petrol now because this is a v engine we have two throttle bodies one there one there now these will open up to allow more air into the cylinder thus creating more power on a diesel however we do not have a throttle body now a lot of people are led to believe that this thing here is a throttle body however it is not this is an anti shudder valve diesels operate on 100 percent air the intake manifold will always be allowing as much air to go into the combustion chamber as possible it's not like on a petrol engine where the engine will tell the throttle body to remain closed at low rpms and therefore on a diesel engine you're going to have a much higher air to fuel ratio compared to the equivalent petrol engine and this brings me on to my next point with fuel economy now in a diesel you are going to expect much better fuel economy compared to the equivalent petrol engine now let's just say for example this was a two liter four cylinder petrol engine and we was going to expect around 30 mpg on average in the equivalent size diesel engine you could expect up to 50 percent increase so let's say we was getting 30 mpg in the petrol we would expect around 45 mpg in the equivalent diesel now let's talk about my final point the differences between a petrol engine and a diesel engine we're going to talk about usability now generally on a diesel engine you're going to get better fuel economy so it's going to be suited better to long journeys now diesel engines also produce more torque compared to the equivalent petrol engine so they are going to be also better for towing as well and we'll move on to the petrol engine when is a petrol engine better now generally on a whole petrol engines produce more power compared to the equivalent diesel engines and they are much quicker to warm up to operating temperature so they are better on short journeys okay then so that has been all of the key differences between petrol and diesel engines i hope this video has been helpful i hope you've all learned something today please give this video a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you have not already done so and i'll see you all next time